So welcome to another episode of Cooking at Home. I was asked by one of my colleagues this week on whether I had a good recipe for pumpkin scones. So I thought, oh, I'll dive into my old recipe book and I'll find Flo Bajorki Peterson's pumpkin scones recipe. Probably the gold standard in pumpkin scone recipes made by many people. For those of you who remember Flo and her husband Joe Bjorki Peterson, I'm sure this will give you a wry smile and you're as old as I am. For the younger audiences who don't know about this, you should look up Joe and Flo Bajorki Peterson. It was an interesting time during Queensland politics. So let's get through the ingredients. What we're going to need for the pumpkin scones is one tablespoon of unsalted butter, half a cup of white sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one egg, one cup of pumpkin mash. This has to be cold, so you have to do this a little bit ahead and then let it cool. Two cups of self-raising flour, plus a bit more flour so that we can use that to flour the board when we need the dough. And that's all we need. So let's go ahead and start putting this all together. So the first thing we want to do is combine the sugar, salt, and butter into the mixer. And we're gonna beat that until it's nice and fluffy. So let's get started on that. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can see it looks a bit like snowflakes. So that's the consistency we want there. We're now gonna add the eggs, egg I should say, and the mash. We're gonna give that a bit of a mix. So you can see that's nicely combined. And what we're going to do now is add the flour. Now it's important that we add the flour and then we hand uh, fold it in because you don't want to actually mix it up too much and knead it too much. Otherwise you'll get very tough uh, scones. So we're just gonna gently knead that in. Fold it in. Okay, so we're just gonna get a board. Lightly flour it so it doesn't stick. And while we've been doing this, we've set the oven to 250 degrees Celsius. It's quite a hot setting. We'll turn our dough over, out. Making sure that uh, we flour our hands as well. Dust our hands. Oh, it's all going to stick to our hands. Okay, turn that out. Gently knead it. Just add some more flour. It's just sticking a little bit. Just 
gonna roll it out so it's about two and a half centimeters in thickness. on that and I'm just going to flour my cutter. Now if you don't have a scone cutter, um, a glass tumbler, anything that's round will be fine. Just move this over and put it onto our baking tray. So we can combine the off cuts and pat it out again. Pop it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So there you have it. Flo Bajorki Peterson's famous pumpkin scones. They look pretty good. I'm going to enjoy mine with a nice hot cup of tea. So it's bye from me and I hope you try the recipe and enjoy it as much as I'm about to. Cheers. Cheers.